Hey, what's up guys? So sorry for the late video. I've been catching up on some client work and I also had some social events going on, but I thank you for your patience. So last week, I received a comment on my video about filming my first $4.5 million home, asking me to do a tutorial on how I was able to take unusable, underexposed footage and make it acceptable enough to use in the video. So that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to take you through my step-by-step -step process on how I pulled that off. Now, this is not something I recommend you do for all of your night shots. Ideally, for any night shot, you would have a lot of light, a fast lens, and a camera and picture profile that works very well in low light. But if you had to, what I'm about to show you can help you get an acceptable image. Not even particularly a good image, but acceptable enough to be an addition to your story. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that the video editor that I'm using is Premiere Pro with the denoiser plugin Neat Video 5. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro with the clip already in the timeline. This is the clip of the Ferrari pulling up the driveway. The first thing that we wanna do is correct the exposure as much as possible so that we're able to get a usable image. So let's go into our basic corrections panel in Lumetri Color. We're gonna go to exposure and then boost this up to a redonkulous amount. Let's also boost up the highlights. And let's see what happens if we boost up some whites. And let's get some more details in these darker areas. So let's boost up the shadows. And we're gonna give it some saturation as well. Now this image is not perfect by any means, but at least we could see everything that's going on. We could see the car, we could see the house, we could even see some more light in the sky. But obviously you could also see a shitload of artifacting and noise in the sky and the darker areas of the image. So the next thing we're going to do is add an adjustment layer on top of that clip. Then we're going to go into our effects panel and find Neat Video, which is renamed as Reduced Noise version 5SR. And we're just going to drag that on top. Then up here towards the upper left, we're going to go to Effect Controls, where we will find Reduce Noise version 5, that's our neat video, and we're going to click Prepare. And then you click Build, and then we see this screen. Next thing we want to do is create a box around any noisy area of the frame. We're going to click Build Profile, Adjust and Preview, and already that cleaned it up a good amount, so we're going to undo the preview before, after. And it's still not perfect. You can still see a bunch of noise and artifacts going on in the sky and other areas of the screen, but we're going to click apply and we want to compound this denoising effect. So I'm going to create another adjustment layer on top of that one and then add again our denoiser. We're going to click prepare and then click build. So now in this screen, what we're seeing is the already denoised image. So now we're denoising an already denoised image. So you see how we're compounding that denoising effect? We're gonna click Build Profile, Adjust and Preview, and Apply. And that's basically it. You are denoising adjustment layers on top of each other to denoise that original clip, as opposed to doing just one custom heavy denoise on the original footage where everything begins to look soft. Now again, I don't recommend that you do this for all of your night footage. Make sure you're exposed properly, add some light, get some fast lenses. But if you have no other choice, this works pretty damn good. Okay, that's the video. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't be shy to show me some love and hit that like button. If you want me to make more tutorials, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see. And of course, I'll be coming out with some more videos, so consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.